Team Aid, nothing upon to us, your voice. In the shadow of Portalbert's great steelworks lies Taibach Rugby Club. I'm very nervous, but am I not too bad thinking about it? What about what we might find? Imagine they're a baroness on a stripper. Stop it! Tonight is a special night. The 50th anniversary of their legendary Christmas pantomime. We're doing it for those people sat up there tonight. Say go home tonight, loving it, we've done our job. It's the end of another tough year for the people of the town, with the future of the steelworks uncertain and pensions under threat. We can make the best steel in the world, by far. Port Talbot is steel, and steel is Port Talbot. If anything happened to that steelworks, I, I, well, Port Talbot wouldn't be here. Knock and bandy, boys, so enjoy your all. Knock and dead, go on. Yeah, what's my back? <laughs> It's the one opportunity for us to just take all the shit in our grove and just get rid of it. Go for it, son. Go for it, boys. Break a leg, boys. Everybody on now, we take it from here. Talbot is one of the last great industrial towns in Britain, where nearly 4,000 people work together in the mills and furnaces of the steelworks, proud of a heritage that goes back over a hundred years. I can live in my town, I can go to work in my town, and I can earn a really good wage in my town, and then support my family in my town. That's where the pride comes for me. But the steel industry the world over is going through a hard time. The market flooded with cheap Chinese imports. But Albert is feeling the pain. Conservative governments should at least try and help Tata steel. But they're not prepared. The steelworks are going to go exactly like the mines. And we love nothing yet. They're very good at talking to the Chinese and supporting the Chinese. It's about time they supported the Welsh people as well. I don't think Wales will have a steel industry in 10 years time. Taibach lies on the eastern edge of town, caught between the steelworks and the M4 flyover. The rugby club is the heart of the community. The pink day. John Newman, or Nugget, is a giant of the club. He's a fitter in the works, a powerful prop forward, a man mountain from Margam. Cheers. In Taibach, we've had some very famous rugby players. I'll, uh, I'll show you one of them now. <laughs> one of the finest props ever to grace the field of Taibach RFC. 2005, I retired, started in 1980. So I had 25 years, enjoyed every minute of it. That's why that's I look like this. <laughs> Here we have the Richard Ibbard Lounge. Very proud of uh, Richard, British Lion. This is our little tribute to Richard, all his uh, Lions jerseys from Australia. It's an old-fashioned, friendly club. You know, the, most of the people play are local. Uh, like now, the boys in the bar, all friends, all workers. You know, work hard, play hard, that's, just, that's the motto, right? That's where I've been brought up, basically. <laughs> this is where it all happens, the panto. Uh, on a Christmas, it looks a little bit different to this. It's all decorated out and... Uh, there's people queuing through the doors to get in. Not to see me. <laughs> yeah. We've got a mobile stage, goes up there. We've got the curtains, lights, cameras, action. Robin the club is famous throughout South Wales and beyond for its Christmas pantomime. Each year, the men of the rugby and football clubs come together to write and perform one of the classics with a special Taibach twist. It's a formula perfected over decades with a hero, a villain, men dressed as women, and a chorus of scantily clad beauties. The atmosphere is electric up there, it's unbelievable. And when you're on stage and you get that cheer and that laugh, 
you know, for just coming on stage dressed in a big and sequin waistcoat. It's great, like, it is superb. I have got a cannon plan. <laughs> We're with each other four months, and then the show, so it's like brotherly, innit? It's like you belong, it's like family, you know? Everyone here has a link to the steelworks, past and present. We both started our apprenticeship together the same day, 20, 27th of August, 1974. There we are. I always remember it, it was my father's birthday. <laughs> and five blast furnaces going, two cocums. I'm glad to be out, but I want to see the works there for the generation. There's not one family from you, or probably for 10, 20 mile radius, that isn't directly associated with the steelworks. They've either got parents or family or relatives that work there, or they, something like a shop. You know, they're only selling papers in the morning and milk and things for people that's going in the steelworks. 2017 is the 50th anniversary of the first Panto. It's a massive year this year, as us three know, so we got to get this right. We gotta the writing right team assembles in the Richard Hibbard Lounge to plan a very special production. We decided to make a celebration of 50th. It's got to fit into all that. And as you say, this is very fluid. Mark Miles, known as Bush, and Colin Deer, or Dub, met as young men in the steelworks and packed down together in the second row for Tai Bach. You know, any, any pantomime is, is basically that, isn't it? You go from A to B. Alid Humphreys is a buyer in the works. He's the director and joined the writing team last year. And you can meet whoever the hell you want. And you've got goodies, and you've got baddies. Yeah. The Panto was founded by Taibach legends Howell David, Ray Williams and Alan Davis back in 1967, when the stars of Port Albert shone brightly. 50 years ago, maybe a bit more, at the YM uptown started yeah. doing uh, drama classes. Um, and the people who went to it were Richard Burton, Anthony Hopkins, Alan Davis, Ray Williams. Richard Burton, Anthony Hopkins went to Hollywood. Ray Howell and Alan started to back one door. Yeah. So, you know, we're coming from a shit dot pedigree. Let's go out and express ourselves and let's carry hard when we carry in. From the kickoff, we need to be really hot and heavy from the start, right? Okay, Red Song, now we're stopping the focusing now, right? It's a big day for the Tigers, Taibach's first 15. They were relegated last year, but if they win today, they'll go back up. Come on, Ed. Good work, Ed. Good work, Ed. Good work, Ed. Yes. Right then. Get him in a panto, then. Panto. Cinderella. Go on, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. What we should do is what we always try to do, which is something nice and old, like... Cinderella. Tigerella. 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 So, go on, then. The plot is... The plot is... Oh! oh. <laughs> the, the plot is she's uh, downtrodden. The father doesn't know that she's downtrodden. Must be a, a stepmother in there somewhere. They get invited to the ball. Yeah. She don't. Then she goes to the fairy godmother. Right. It's a crack in fact. Right. Go fast, kid. Go on! They know your skin he is. Come here. Yeah. Right. Take it, Ella. Take it, Ella. I'm going to meet him with The boss. Three of us. Yeah. Knock some emails about tomorrow. Right. Sorted. Take it, Ella, and 38.5. Spread the word. Is that 38.5? Yeah. And promotion. Let me text him out and all. Let me text that, Umbra. The steelworks dominate the life and landscape of Port Albert. It's the biggest employer for miles around, providing thousands of highly skilled, well-paid jobs. The plant runs 24 hours a day, producing high-grade steel coil and slab, four million tonnes a year, to make everything from cars to fridges, tin cans to two-pence pieces. 
Working in a place like this forges strong bonds. You're looking after each other. You've got to look after each other. If you see somebody doing something stupid or whatever, you say, what are you doing? You know, do you want to go home safe tonight? Do you want to have your food tonight? You know, it's, it's, you're looking after each other. Got to stay by here now because he's going to be moving up. We're in uh, more of a Corkums. This is the, uh, the battery, which is like the heart of the Corkums, where we turn a pole into cork. These are the cells on the battery now. There's 84 in total. Pulverized coal goes into the top. Uh, for 18 hours, it carbonizes. Then when it's ready, we push the cork out into the cork car, goes up, gets quenched, then goes off then for uh, processing uh, around the blast furnace and the center plant, don't they? Hello, on the signal number four. Here she comes. That's just cork now. All the impurities have been burnt off. That's pure cork now, which is ideal for the blast furnace. Thousands of Tata steelworkers have begun voting whether to accept a less generous pension scheme. Unions backed the deal last week, saying it was the only viable way to secure the company's UK operations. A year ago, the plant's owners, Indian steel giant Tata, put all their UK operations up for sale. Now they're seeking to merge with a European rival. The deal would bring investment and safeguard jobs for years to come. But there's a catch. The old British steel pension scheme is in deficit and a barrier to any deal. Union members are being balloted on whether to close the scheme, and the results are due any day now. The older element that's been in there for years will vote against it and the youngsters will vote for it because they want a job with the future, uh, and that's the split. Dub was an apprentice draftsman in the steelworks in the 70s, but now works for the local council. Oh, hi. How are you? Good. Welcome to Sunfields Estate. Come on. Through we go or as we call it, Lower Bar Glen. These houses, this, this old estate was built for the steelworks. It's built for the steelworks, uh, 58 probably. It was the biggest council estate in Europe when it was built. I'm taking you through now to uh, what they now call a micro pub. Right, walk this way, here it is. Cock inside there. Uh, this is it. Work in progress. So that's my bar. This is the lounge, Belinda's lounge. So this is called the dub end, and that's called the bell end. A boxer there is um, from Taibach, Goitra. Billy Bynan, he's there in the company of the great Wave Richards. And then we got the the great Bob Marley over there. I'm a, I'm a white raster, man. I'm a white raster, I think. The panto is a chance for the community to forget about their worries. People don't even ask, are we doing a panto? That's the question that's not asked, is what's the panto going to be? It's some, something that's just gone on, it's like become a fabric of the whole of the back. So that's why it's so special, I think. It's like relief and everything else in it. It's an out and it's, um, it's what life's all about in it, you know. It's a blank canvas, I throw as much paint in it as you can, you know, and it's, it's, that's part of the thinking behind it, I think. Tata Steel, which threatened to pull out of the UK in March, has struck a deal with unions to secure production at Port Talbot and at sites across Britain. The agreement will safeguard jobs and trigger new investment, but also requires workers to accept less generous pensions. Better. So it was three to one, basically, yes. Granted, there are some people who are going to be really, really disappointed and disheartened by the result, those people who are personally affected by it. Um, but three quarters of the population who voted yes realised that, you know, we, we had to do something different because otherwise we might not be here tomorrow. Turn over, turn over, turn over, turn over. 
But now we've got that cloud lifted, we can concentrate on making money, get the investment, upgrade the facilities, make money. It's August, and there's work to be done. Right, boys, welcome to uh, our panto launch. It's a big one, it's a big 50th. It's going to be Cinderella. This is special because of everything that's happened locally over the last 12 months to 18 months. Regardless of everything else that's going on, you know, the club is part of the community, is part of what we're trying to do, it's part of how we're trying to bring people together just for that little release. Ugly one, ugly two, ugly three. Today is the first read-through of the 50th panto, Cinderella's Golden Ball. Where are you? You ugly, you ugly trout. Ignore her. He's just a bloody dodging old fool. Oh, pardon. First read-through. A little bit nervous, but we got about three pages in. I was landed. I looked at him, he was landed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if, if I could do it. What is that? What is that? From now until December, the cast will meet every Sunday afternoon at the club to rehearse. To kick things off, Bush leads the group in team building exercises. Right, the next one, you can't let anybody fall, right? All you're going to do is just walk around, keep an eye on everybody, and when you're ready, just say your name out loud. Bush, close your eyes. Watch it, boys! <laughs> Let's try it, see how it goes. <laughs> we need to try and finalise the parts today, if at all possible, so that in a couple of weeks, when we get into rehearsals, the boys can start learning the script and stuff. We've done the twist. <laughs> Why have you dragged me all the way over here? Why have we got a German fucking pumpkin? <laughs> We know who the real characters in, in the rugby club are, right? And we'll always write with certain people in mind. That makes it much easier to do the right in. So do you think you'll be able to do something to help Cinder's year get to the ball? It's not gonna be easy. I think I got more chance stepping in dog shit. <laughs> Paul Jones, also known as Zippy, or Bones, is playing the fairy godmother. He grew up with Nugget, running wild round Margam, and was once one of the club's leading lights, a real player on and off the pitch. But then, life dealt him some bad cards. I mean, I'm ten beat. Oh, I guess they were. I remember the whole guess. I think it's nice and hot, didn't But it was pissing down and cold, and I caught frostbite my big toe. I got MRSA, yeah. Wouldn't heal, and then took a lot of my leg off, eh? Well, half of it. Three months later, and this leg was woke up one morning, it was just dead. So, uh, after we started gone again, you know what I mean? Mechanic I was, first of all, and then a uh, job at a steel works, and crane driver, contracting. When I went on long, I had my own taxi. So I lost it all, yeah. Lost the house, taxi. Dog. I said, work like, but you know what I mean? Gotta keep on the bright side, you know? No need more pain, like. So I just kick on, you know what I mean? Oh, fuck, right. Yeah, nice work. We've been pestering bones for, oh, probably the past 10 years to come back in the show, because we know him, we know how funny he is. We, you know, he is a really nice guy as well. And he kept saying no, his head probably wasn't in the right place. Since he's been ill, uh, I see him about, all right, Panto. You know, the sparkle had gone. And we crossed paths, like, and he asked me what I was doing, not a lot, and he said, come up here, like. I said to him, Panto, what are you doing? I said, Robin Hood. I said, well, who am I going to play, like? I said, I'm obvious, isn't it? Little John. Oh, little John, we had a chuckle and all that, right? So, I thought, oh, I had a bit of a think about it, and then phoned him up there next day. I could tell straight away his mojo was back. I got one for us. <laughs> no new laugh. Hey, hey, 
Oh, when we landed on our feet. Right? Oh, at least somebody landed on our feet. Just keep la laughing as if we're taking a piss out of you, right? And I'll come back. And I'll go I won't tell you now, because it'll spoil it for you. What you see with Bones is he'll read his part and he'll read his script and he'll make it ten times funnier. Don't forget, I was up a plough watching you play Saturday. And I still reckon I got a better fucking sidestep than you. <laughs> I know he swears and this and that, but it just seems to me that I, even my mother could be sitting in the audience and you get away with it, you know what I mean? But Cinder's in a poor old state and can't even get to the ball. Buttons asked how much he had in the bank. And she replied, £2.48. <laughs> <laughs> but who all thought I was going to say, fuck all, I don't know. It's been good to watch everybody laughing and that, you know what I mean? Oh, I've got a hell of a buzz of making people laugh. <laughs> Will you stop poking me, you cretin? Oh. Can't you see I'm a German officer oh. who is dressed in disguise as a pumpkin? With a French accent? Yeah. <laughs> 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 what was that? I was telling my, my, my dear, well, your hand looks so soft and, and delicate. Well, uh, my... Oh, oh, well, <laughs> oh fuck it, delicate. Fuck it, delicate. Let's go on to scene two, then. I went to the doctor's office the other day and I found out my new doctor is a dishy drop dead gorgeous look with a lush tight dance. Sam Did Coombs is a third generation steel worker oh, and a panto a veteran of 12 oh, years. This year, he's playing Dandini. Just tell me what's wrong and I'll check it out. He is excellent at playing the, the camp part and he can camp it right up by night yard and so he be doing that now. And as long as you're off. I've always liked sort of being the centre of attention. <laughs> um, and I like making people laugh. I like my actions to have an effect on other people, basically, on stage. Or I like to employ that sort of in everyday life as well. So, yeah, I've, I've always thought of it. But the more I'm doing it, and perhaps I'm realising I'm, I'm quite good at it. As well as his work with the panto, Sam dreams of following in the footsteps of Port Albert's great actors. We think Taibach is huge, <laughs> but, but then if you, if you come here from outside, you think, oh, it's only three streets long, right? Look at it, you, you've got all this beauty, you've got this, the beach is stunning, you've got all the mountains, range and things like that, and you've got a heavy industry as well. What other town can say that? They've got all this beauty and they've got the jobs to go with it. The National Theatre of Wales is staging a production in town, telling the story of last year's fight to save the steelworks. Sam has auditioned and won a major role alongside professional actors. Playing the part of, of a steelworker, so I'm having unpaid leave from being an actual steelworker to pretend to be a steelworker. <laughs> I play the part of Lewis, who unfortunately loses his job, and how things affect him then afterwards and, you know, how it explores how difficult it is to, to find work again and to find, not only find work, but find work in your own town. Two years ago, 750 men were made redundant from the steelworks. This is a visitor centre here. In here, then, is the academy. And that's where we all went to pick up our letters to say whether we had the job or not. You walked in a room, and depending on which bloke you went to, if you went to him, you'd lost your job. And if you went to him, you'd kept your job. You're, you know what I mean? It, it, it sounds like something out of a film, doesn't it? Hey, 
Back at the club, rehearsals are well underway. Go and get her! Oh, fetch this, fetch that! Doesn't he realise that I'm the real star of this show? Oh. Oh. You're, you're already on. The King and Queen are already yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, 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 you're just kind of mingling their back and dancing. Nugget is playing the part of Cinderella, alongside Andrew Roach as Buttons. We'll have some fun. He's a massive character, he's a massive character. And, well, Tyback, he's, he's larger than life. He's, he's just uh, on his own. Yeah, I'm very good at remembering my lines. I, uh, I remember the ones from last year and the year before that, but I don't remember this year. I'll remember this year next year. He even went off, to be honest with you. I can't see there's another one of him anywhere. I've gone on what I shouldn't be on, live or not. You run on, you're not on. Oh, shit, run back on. He always plays one of the two main characters. If he's got a big part, then he's rubbing off on everybody. You can help me get ready for the ball, then, where I can go and whisk away the barn of my dreams, Prince Chow Mein. <laughs> Keep it in. <laughs> Listen now, you wasn't to know if there was a rehearsal going on. No, no, it's all right, darling. Won't mind, man. No, he's not that nasty. I don't believe what Double T says about him. Man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, no. <laughs> <laughs> For Sam, the big day has arrived. The play is about to open in a disused factory near the works. The national media is in town, eager to speak to the steel worker turned actor. Hello, boys. Morning. All right, how are we? Okay. How are you doing? How are you doing? All right. Good things. All okay. How are we, Beth? You okay? There's a lot of cameras, isn't there? <laughs> how are you feeling? Yeah, the nerves are starting to kick in, <laughs> but. Uh... Should be all right. You're going to go back after this, are you? Yeah, that's the plan at the moment. Yeah, the right. plan at the moment is to is to go back um, on the fourth of October and yeah. Yeah. carry on being a steel worker. <laughs> yeah. It's capacity when you're here. I would love to pay my bills by acting. I would love to be able to support my family and keep a roof over our heads, just solely from acting. And I know it's a big shout. It's a big sort of like. Perhaps not going to be happening in the near future, but something I could definitely sink my teeth into and work towards. It's one chance you've got in it. It's, just, it's, the, it's a massive chance and just grabbing it by the arms, like, you know? Brilliant, man. Brilliant. But this woman at the job said that. She looks at me and she says, there might be some opportunities coming up in retail. <laughs> I had to ask her what retail was. They got no fucking idea. Most works, it's like a different world. A different planet. A different language. When you come out to there, you don't know where you are. You've got to learn it all new again. It's like I'm getting angry at myself because I don't know who that twat was who pulled my name out of the fucking bag. And I got all this fucking energy. Sam Coombs, a local steelworker who more than holds his own alongside four fine professional actors in the main cast. Incredible. And that's the times. 
you know, it's not making, it's not the Evening Post, is it? It's the Times, you know, it's nationwide, it's bonkers. God, it'd be lovely if something, you know, life-changing did happen, but we set in our minds on the fact he's going back to the steelworks and then if something did come and it was worth Sam taking that risk, then that's why it's a big decision, you know, it is a bit insecure, but you've got to weigh it all up and sometimes take the risk, you know, but mm. we'll see, we'll my, see. My, fa my father was funny, who was very much like a proper job boy, you know, you need, what did you wear? You need a proper job, but now, he came in the other day and he said, uh, I'm on a crest of the wave with it all. I said, Dad, you don't speak like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's late October and the stage is being assembled. Now things get serious. From now until the opening night, they'll rehearse twice a week, Sundays and Thursdays. It's amazing how everybody's attitude changes once the stage goes up and the curtains goes up. And, and what we've also done today is we've run some sound. We'll see what happens now, eh? Once that's up, the boys' attitude changes then. It's fantastic. With just six weeks to go, they need to start work on the show's big song and dance routines. As usual, Nug's having trouble with his lines. Come on, Shirley, keep up. You knew I'd song backwards someday. <laughs> but that's what, you know, that, that's what makes it. I got, uh, I'll have to get bigger words. Or hold that further away. He comes to the rehearsal, and he's always on a couple of years, and he'll do something, and then next week, he started from zero again. <laughs> now, now, Bones, on the, other, on the other hand, Bones is building his part all the time. As getting her into a size 10, I think you've got more chance we doing a river dance with Michael fucking flat. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me, I got a foot pump for sale of any fucking ones, man. <laughs> One of the panto's biggest stars is John Padge Paget, a retired scaffolder. He spends most of the year in Halkidiki, but returns to Portalbert when rehearsals start. This is his 26th panto. Every panto he does, he's a pirate. He's a, he's the wicked stepmother, Cinderella's wicked stepmother this year, and he's a poor pirate. Check your pockets, man. Check your bloody pockets. It's mostly now I'm typecast as the body. And I, I like it. I like to get the people you boo in and get it. Because once you get the audience with you, you're there. I love you forever. I love you to bits. And as you can see, I've got a cracking pair of hands. Oh, oh, oh. This is a guy who lives from May to October in Greece. And in the summer, he insists we send him a script over. I sit on the beach and I does this to me. Oh, what do you do with an artist? I'm an actor, thespian, you know? <laughs> so it's quite amusing, really. <laughs> so they think I'm in West End, uh, not the one in Ty Barkley. <laughs> I said, you know, we're done time. No, I, I, what I do is... As the opening night approaches, the pressure begins to build. When we done it last time, it was just a bit disjointed. FGM will be over there. It's on the Bones, 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 Bones will come from there. Yeah. Bones 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 from there. Right. Aled cracks the whip. We'll have to do that scene again after, because it's, it's one very fucking good, to be fair. So let's do scene two, then. To be the director of our Wapanto, you've got to be school teacherish. So you've got to say, Oi, what the fuck are you doing? I told you once, do, 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 right? Um, he's good at, you know. Um, and without that, it'd be chaos. One of the golden rules, one yeah. line in, one line out. And that's not fucking happening, boys. It's a ball's ache. It, you know, it, it, just getting boys to rehearsal and learning your lines and stuff like that. But we love it. 
and we enjoy it. No, no, Tone, we're not after scene change. We're just trying to work out what we need to do where. It takes us about, takes about 40 seconds to change the scene there, yeah? OK, sorry, boys, thanks for that. Can we go into scene two now? Board stuff fucking around. <laughs> Alid Bush and Dub are playing the three ugly sisters. Despite having written the lines themselves, they still can't remember them. No, it's all over the shop. <laughs> Considering the three writers are the ones harping on about no scripts on stage, if we just have a look what's going on up there at the moment, with the only three with scripts on stage, <laughs> the three writers. I was in Argos this afternoon and a girl said, excuse me, are you 35? I said, actually, I'm 43, but I use foundation cream. She said, you number, you fat fucker. <laughs> <laughs> this is a business end, I think, getting into the first show, isn't it? Yeah, the songs um, are starting to pick up as well. No, um, what are we opening with? What are we ending with? Yeah. What are the songs we do in? Soon the songs get ramped up. We know that uh, we're not far away then, do we? Massive couple of weeks now. We need to get a dress rehearsal done, and there's a debate over what night it is at the moment. Collectively, it's got to be a success for the club, uh, pure and simple. As the year wears on, there's better news from the steelworks. It's been a turbulent year for the workforce at Port Talbot. In March, the steel plant's owner, Tata, announced it would sell all its UK business. The price of hot rolled coil, which is produced at Port Talbot, has almost doubled since the start of the year. It's hot. From it's making like to actually America. making a profit. The fall in the value of the pound means it is now cheaper to sell goods. Keeping the two blast furnaces at Port Talbot running for at least five years. A 10-year, £1 billion investment plan. A commitment to try to avoid compulsory redundancies for five years. Tata won't invest if we're not making money. And at the moment, we're making money. It's a good market economy for us at the moment. You know, Brexit was great for us because we can export at, at a profit, but that won't last. It's a constant battle, but that's just heavy industry in Western Europe. The day of the dress rehearsal. 50 years. <laughs> Just one week before the opening night. But some of the big stars are missing. There's a problem at the works, so Sam and Nug have been called in. The mill is down, so um, Nug is working. He's working around the clock, I think. Um, Sam had to work on yesterday, you know, his mate didn't turn up or something. So, uh, a couple of men down here. But more seriously, there's no Aled. It's his mother's birthday, so Dub and Bush have been left in charge. Right, boys, dress for yourself. Um, what we're going to do is the show as it is next week. That means if you don't know your words or you don't know when you're coming on, we're carrying on. It's my party and I'm right. A bit disjointed because people miss saying we just done a song with no singer. But you know, I don't know why, but everybody's a little bit on edge. You know, so all the people that know their lines are getting prompts, and I'm writing down what we're gonna work on, and um, we'll take it from there. Ah, oh, my fucking door! <laughs> <laughs> I never get up with it on him. Excuse me. Yeah, you got a cough. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. It's not seamless. No, it's fucking not seamless. Far from seamless. But all for the godmother. Oh, don't be so formal, man. Just go. It, it, it is what it is, you know. Uh, what always happens, it'll be all right in the night. Never feels like that at this point. And next Sunday, we'll all be shitting ourselves, and then all of a sudden. It just, it just clicks. Well, this has changed, though, because we have to wear magic now. It says, well, Embry, if that's my work done, and Cinder's is sorted. We're into the medley now. To commemorate 50 years of Panto, they're planning to do a medley of their greatest hits. Once he says his line, he's going to start the music. And we didn't but with just a week to go, this is the first time they've sung it all the way through. 
Well, let's just have a fucking go at it and see what it goes. Right? Right, ready? Song, we go straight into Snow is Falling, Snow is falling and Black and Amber. I'll let you have with them. The beauty of him is he cracks the whip. And we, 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 we quite often good cop, bad cop. Well, me and Deborah are both good cops. Right, boys, first half was pretty good. Deb, first half? First half, nailed it. Yeah. Right. Second half, the sort of Six, well, six, seven, and eight. Got to go through it. It looks like we're going to have to do nearly every night this week. It looks like Thursday will be a dress rehearsal again, uh, all the way through. It is what it is, isn't it? This happens every year. We, go. we know what we got to do, and we've got a week to do it, and we will do it. Men of Taibach performed the first panto in 1967. Back then, the old Abbey Works was the biggest steelworks in Europe, with nearly 20,000 men working the mills and furnaces. Port Talbot would have been around about full employment. It was a job for everyone then, really. You came out and you found a job at your own level. Some boys walk in front of a crane with a bell. Money in your pocket. The pubs in Port Talbot was fantastic to me. It was a proper town. The last 50 years has seen change sweep through heavy industry. The Steel Company of Wales became British Steel, nationalised, then privatised, globalised and rationalised. A merger made Chorus, then Tata bought the lot. Now, change is in the air once more. Unions at the Talbot Steelworks and other Tartar plants across Wales are cautiously welcoming a deal that will see the company merge with its German rival, ThyssenKrupp. Workers have been telling us they expect the new firm to support employees. Generally, people are seeing it as positive. They're a very similar company to Tata Steel and their business model is very similar, so the two companies fit extremely well together. The people of Talbot live in an industrial town. Long may it continue. Oh, if you sick, it's like that. The opening night is here. After nearly a year of writing and rehearsing, Taibach RFC's 50th Christmas pantomime is about to get its premiere. Cinderella's Golden Ball. Nervous. I'm all right for the show, I'm just nervous around here. <laughs> Stop it! Each year, the opening night is free for OAPs, and many of the original Panto members are in the audience. It's a packed house, 250 people. <laughs> we are in, in a pretty good place. There's a couple in here that don't know all their lines. <laughs> Fucking same as last year, and a year before. Now, uh, if, I, if I learn my lines, it won't be the same, will it? No. Indeed. But in a good <laughs> We're doing it for those people sat up there tonight who started this 50 years ago, OK? It means a lot to them, and it should mean a lot to us, OK? So let's respect that and make sure it's a great choice. Stay home tonight, 
Loving it. We've done our job. Knock on fucking Monday, boys. So enjoy your own. Knock on dead, go on. Yeah, off my back. Thank you. Thanks. Go for it, son. Go for it, boys. Break a leg, boys. This is what it's all fucking starts off from. So everybody, when it's on now, everybody on now, we take it from here. So, ladies and gentlemen, please join me for the Tybox 50th anniversary show, Cinderella's Golden Wall. So, the prince is gorgeous, don't you think? Oh, I think so. Would you free spinners like to come to my golden ball? Ooh! Hey, Daddy, E, come on. Dish him out free ticket. I think our work here is done. If you insist, do our girls come on. Right, go. Two, three, two, three. Hey, girls. What are we going to do now? Oh, I don't know. We've got our tickets, but we, we can't stay here all night long, can we, sisters? All night. Get on with the sweeping. <laughs> and the washing. And the ironing. There's no mirrors in here, <laughs> But Cinder's is in a right dog state. Can't even get to the ball. Buttons are still much yard in the bank. And she's replied. £2.68. That had to do, didn't it? Thought I was going to swear then, didn't it? Yeah, see, I'm nice. No legs, but I'm still one step in front of you. <laughs> First half has gone well, but as the second half gets underway, cracks begin to appear. Are you ready yet? They're not ready yet. <laughs> the ugly sisters are due on stage, but there's no sign of them. Ah, I'm in the pussy ass. That comes up two chests now, do it? Look at her ass. Oh, my ass is all right. It's uh, looking awesome. John Haycock plays for time. So I do dance. Yeah. I got Michael Jackson. <laughs> Yeah. Cinders, you're on the fucking stage. You're right. Well <laughs> It's Nug's big number. He should have the backing of the full chorus, but only one of them has turned up. That goes on to sing his song. He's supposed to have the chorus back in him. And, uh, and then there's a chorus were there. What's the next song? They are going to blame the fact that they didn't have enough time between scenes to get changed, but I don't think that's going to wash, to be very honest. We could have a good time, and I just got to Shut up, and put me off. And, uh, I've been all fucking you living, I saw you fucking up. Oh, yeah, you yeah, yeah. I have all my back and people are down here and I have Scott singing in my ears. Out the tune! So it's all in. You know, you could tell from the audience that they loved it. It was awesome. Yeah, it was good. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Very good. For the first one. It's going to be clicker, slicker, slick it up, slick it up, slick it up, bang, 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 bang. The jokes went over. Sammy sang was happy. So that was it. <laughs> one down. One down. And that's seven it. to go. And the other six when will be, us, be better than the first one, yeah. guaranteed. <laughs> The first 15 are away in Penelan, Swansea. 
After a hard week of panto, only Dub and Dude the dog have made the trip. Go for our time, boys. Been hard, to be honest. Uh, can't say we haven't, en haven't not enjoyed it, mind. Monday night was, I think, the only one that wasn't sold out. The rest of them been gone. So it's, uh, it's a big adrenaline rush, isn't it? Bones came off a stage on Wednesday in his wheelchair. You know, it's, uh, went too near the edge and fell, and, and fell off. He's uh, absolutely bonkers. Oh! I took Thursday, Friday off. I went to work Wednesday like a stun ram. So I thought, oh, I'll take Thursday, Friday off. So uh, that helped. We haven't been finishing, we haven't been in the bed, gone, gone 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock. I'm normally in bed by 10. It's the last night of the panto. This is the most important night of all, when the audience is full of friends and family. A lot of these boys work in the steelworks and they've been worried for the last year or so. Uh, this is one where, where the community can just forget about all the troubles, all the strifes and everything, and, uh, and get together and enjoy a night. This club is the works. The works is the club. If the works went, the club would probably go. No panto, no club, no community up. It is literally the, the centre of the community. It's, it's a massive, massive part of everybody's lives. Big push to the summit tonight. Most of the week. You may know so 20, 30 percent of the audience, 40 percent of the audience tonight. Everybody tonight knows 100 percent of the audience. So um, putting yourself out there, really, you know. It's been a long, hard week, and it's taken its toll on the cast. Me and Bones are the collision. Well, <laughs> break a leg, you see, don't it? You know? Now you know how much we put into it. <laughs> Tough week yet again, but we wouldn't have it any different. We know what we're in for, we know, we know exactly what we need to do, and, you know, this is the one night that means the world to everybody. It means the world to the club, it means the world to us. It means the world to the people up there watching it, because that's all our family and friends. Everyone doing it, mind. It's been a hard week. It's been a hard week. For us oldies. 
especially when you're having a drink every night. Yeah. You know, it's, uh, but we've enjoyed it. The yeah, we have. atmosphere's been good yeah. in there. Yeah, good crowd. Last night, how's this all about? Local community. Put a tongue in there now, put a tongue time with that. It's very hard to explain to people what it's like unless you've been in Panto. Yeah. These boys are absolutely my friends for life. They were like, we're like a brotherhood. It is something we look forward to, we massively look forward to it. And every year we're going to continue doing it as long as people pay their money and come and see it. It's the one opportunity for us to just take all the shit and aggro that goes on in your normal kind of work and domestic life and just get rid of it. And we've had an absolute ball this week. And we hope that the 1,500 people that have come to watch us have equally had a ball. And it just gives them one opportunity to get away from everything. You may kiss the brain. and I get to 50 odd and I settle down and then I'm going to be told I thought a possibility or by the way we've decided now that we don't need you anymore we're going to lay you off that was a nice thing it wasn't a very nice uh, feeling but I, I, we got through it it's all changed now and I think the future is looking you can't say it's looking bright but it's, it's looking better than what it did two years ago for the so I'm about to embarrass myself. the emotion that's pouring out the people and it is fantastic seriously I on top of the world Yeah. 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 Yeah.